Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to add two mixed numbers really really fast. Alright, so how fast can you add these two mixed numbers? 4 1 third and 2 1 quarter. I will give you 5 seconds. Alright, time's up. Did you get the answer 6 and 7 over 12? Congratulations if you did because that's the correct answer. If you didn't, don't worry. I'm going to show you how to add these two mixed numbers really, really quickly. Alright, an explanation before we start. If you remember back at the school when you are learning how to add mixed numbers involving fractions with different denominators, you probably remember a whole bunch of steps. First, you have to turn mixed numbers into proper fractions. Then you have to find the common denominator for the fractions. And then you have to add those fractions. And then you have to go through simplifying the answer. So what I am going to show you is a much faster method. And let me explain it to you with our example. Here we have 4 1 third and 2 1 quarter. The first thing we are going to do is to get the denominator by simply multiplying these numbers. So 3 times 4 is 12. Next, we are going to cross multiply each numerator with other denominator. So here 1 times 4 is 4 and here 3 times 1 is 3. And we add these together. 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. And 7 is our numerator. Finally, we just add these whole numbers together. So 4 plus 2 is 6 and 6 is the whole number of our answer. The answer is 6 and 7 over 12. Pretty cool, huh? That's the easiest trick to add mixed numbers, right? And with little practice, you can do it in your head. So here we have three questions and they are progressively hard as we go along. We have 5 and half plus 3 and 2 fifth and next one 8 and 1 sixth plus 2 quarter and the last one 3 and 3 quarter plus 1 and 2 third. So pause the video and give it a go. By the way, if you learned this trick just now and if you think it's useful, then don't forget to give this a like and subscribe for more math tricks. Alright, let's find the answers and we start with 5 and half plus 3 and 2 fifth. So the first thing we are going to do is to work out the denominator. So 2 times 5 is 10. Pretty simple. So the next thing we are going to do is cross multiply 1 and 5. So 1 times 5 is 5 and 2 times 2 is 4. We add those together, so 4 plus 5 is equal 9. Finally, 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. So the first answer is 8 and 9 tenth. Now, let's look at the next one. 8 and 1 sixth plus 2 quarter. First, we get the denominator. 6 times 4 is 24. Then, what we are going to do is cross multiply 1 times 4 is equal to 4 and 6 times 1 is equal to 6. And we add these together, so 4 plus 6 is equal to 10. Finally, we have 8 plus 2 equal to 10. There is a little thing in here. This could be simplified further because here both numerator and denominator can be divided by 2. And we get 10 and 5 twelfth. Finally, we have 3 and 3 quarter and 1 and 2 third. To get the denominator, first we get 4 times 3 is equal to 12 and then cross multiply 3 times 3 is equal to 9 and then 4 times 2 is equal to 8. We add this together, so 9 plus 8 is 17. Now here we have an improper fraction because numerator 17 is bigger than the denominator 12. So let's divide 17 by 12 and here we get 1 and 5 over 12. Now I am going to add this whole number 1 to the next part of our answer. Now 3 plus 1 is 4 and we add this whole number 1 and we get 5. That's pretty cool, huh? This is the easiest trick to use when you add mixed numbers with fractions with different denominators. So do you like to know more math tricks? You can find plenty of them if you go to the channel and if you enjoyed this trick, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.